Pangalai, Ligando Paradunde Gabange Ratu Dandi, Agadini Kapunda Lapandi Kaburatia, Likando Shavagambaya, Legende Katunda Paranama Entalia, Ratando Suna Indiga Brutai, Rico Palida Anzuda Brandi Kabai, Ladanzele Ketebanguta, every sickness in my body, let the fire of God lick it up, Incanto Kabandaya, Rekoto Zebeleka, every discomfort in my body, every discomfort in my body, every inappropriateness in my body, Kandaga Zulai, Legendo Shabakai, Ratudam Vatabandaya, Inda Kude Paradigandu, Rekoto Zebele Egredai, Legando Savina Egrandu, Paradinda Anduraika, Rico Paradika Sudi, Evende Grade Daliza, Lenga Gruda in Vagabrai, Paradinze Grande Carida, Leku Sheveni Inga Gridus, Vendu Tarani Intai, Likotos Gebai, Paradinze Le Credica, Liko Tabandica, Roto Vende Kepai, Likando Shabai, Agradini Andosai, Let the fire of God lick it up, Ikendo Sebeta, Lendish Tabaru Tabai, Ratakan Zuzandela, Liko Pelli Caton Zepai, No sickness is permitted in my body, No sickness is permitted in my children, No sickness is permitted in my family, Kali Katabatosa, Vende Grato Palita, Likon Jetekandosa, La Danze Grando Penema Enga, Liko Pende Katosa, Vendi Gradidan Zudesa, Eliketo Zeve, Peradigan Zuzandeca, Liketo Rapadina, Gradu da Bendeca, Roto Vanda Kaita, Edini Kotan Zofetas, Roto Veneke Brate, let the fire of God lick it up, Ikete Kaso Satasha, let the fire of God lick it up, Iketu Tapande Kaya, let the fire of God lick it up, every high blood pressure, Kande Kuruta Agai, Ledi Zetan Zoseza, Rato Zebrande Paleza, Liko Shivanantaka, Lekobron de Panekazonte, every high blood pressure, Agande Kalutapa, let the fire of God lick it up, Elekunda Kapaya, every blood diabetes, Eliketo Zefeta, Kagratu Dade Zapai, Lingendo Tabinataya, Liketo Shava, Ruto Kovanteka, I see a young lady, you are 35 years old, Agedo Zopraka, you are overweight, Agandu Karata, Likinde Shota, and listen you, you went to the hospital, and you were told you have diabetes, Egedos Kevakapa, Retu Zefatapaya, let the fire of God lick it up, Agoto Parata, let the fire of God lick it up, Elekuta Shada, let the fire of God lick it up, I speak to one, I speak to all, everyone who has a complication of sugar, Ingetos Kevakapai, La Denzele Comprodantica, let the fire of God lick it up, Iketu Dabandeka, Lekishanama Uratiata, if you are connected to one who has blood diabetes, blood sugar levels, Elekendo Zapata, I speak to one, I speak to all, begin to share this message with them, begin to share this prayer with them, Kaliko Paradikaya, Lengitu Zevekanta, every demon responsible for high blood sugar, Agedu Zekila Kura, Ratu Zevekata, I command you, let the fire of God lick up your bones, Endi Gidakosa, let the fire of God lick up your presence, Agadu Zepeli Koshede, Palandi Kitu Dazande, Agretu Tande Kabai, Likanda Shalamunta, Erati Kitikando, Rekoto Zefekanta, Intanta Ratu Zafai. There's a long lady, you went to a church recently, and a man of God placed his hand on your head, and suddenly you started losing hair on your head, and your head is itchy consistently. You are feeling very unnormal, like things like worms are walking on your head. You went to a place, and there's a man of God who took his hand and laid that hand on your head. And since that hand was laid on your head, that man, I don't think is from God. That man is not from God. He laid his hand on your head. And after that, you started losing hair. That's number one. Number two, you started feeling like worms walking on your head, like something is crawling on your head. Consistently, it makes you, you eat your head uncontrollably. 
you eat your hair consistently uncontrollably vadagozala igranda kazalandaga likudaga brudagedai let the fire of god fall on your head now kiligura ituda bahandi kita lubradina ugruda izara digija rotoze vende kadu ligangura idanga pa pandegenia tandura iga luda eradiga sida rabaganduriata igadubare gadenzeges paradina Anda granda kaina munda likuda ebrega don zevatash igedeli kugabanda i speak to one i speak to all everyone who has a head problem i see migraines living heads and the kalamuta uncontrollable headaches living heads gadurata endeka idesuta aba balandi kisha leginzo kruda ende paradina ende grudai rudu zavangalakia rodo don zevrega Baruda Baragina Agrandiga Ligudan ze gredo a paragina iata let the fire of God lick up that head Igandukai let the fire of God fall on your head everything not planted by my father Kinu Kabanda Rakiata let it suka paliata let it be slicked up by fire Aguda Mankata Ruta Gevalakapia Roto Gevakate Zute Kabradu Gabai Rakatan ze Kinanuta great to kapai i speak to one i speak to all i see stars exchange stars exchange let's go to quickly to matthew matthew chapter 3 matthew chapter 3 let's look at matthew chapter no matthew chapter 2 matthew chapter 2 Matthew chapter 2 and verse 22. Sorry, let's go to Matthew. I'm reading Matt. Sorry, Matthew chapter 2. There's something I'm looking for. In Matthew chapter 2, let's look at verse 9. Matthew chapter 2 and verse 9 says, When they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was when they saw the star they rejoiced with exceeding great joy when they saw the star they rejoiced with exceeding great joy when they saw the star they rejoiced with exceeding great joy but verse 9 says something particular about that star it said the star when they saw it the star joined with them and where the star was to be, it rested upon whose head it was supposed to be. Child of God, some of your stars are not resting where it's supposed to be. Some of the stars of your children are not over your, your rooftops. Where it is supposed to be, it has been exchanged for something else. It has been exchanged for something else. And the Bible says they saw the star and they rejoiced. Those who have exchanged the stars of your children, are those who have seen that star and they are not rejoicing oh god wherever my star is supposed to be let my star rest on on its seated place let the star of my children rest on its seated place let the star of my children rest on its design sitting place let the star of my household rest on its sitting place 
wherever the star of my life is supposed to be vadagarama igagruda kaparadia kasa ladishana uruda kuvangaraika denzo grode epene balatai wherever the stars of my children are supposed to sit Vedegesto barandi kata. Let their stars sit on his rightful place. Badigidu zapai. Legendu shadakaya ta. Indu keparute avaradiga zuna. Barandi gidu gudai. Wherever my star is supposed to sit, let my star sit on its sitting place. Bedegosto paraga. Taraduda evenekai. Toruda enzu grandi kapande. Ruda ivagondo zogruda. Panle kuda arati kata. Legunte penande zotamberata idam peliku karatia zude ebrade gavonda za. I command the stars of my household. I command the stars of my children. I command the stars of my wife. Let them sit on their rightful place. 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 Vedegas kopalena baradiga zune alai. Adan Zota Ivando Cradina, Pali Gudo Abali Kotai, Rudo Zedege Parede, Legun Zedegando Ratadan Zelita, Ibalita Kubai, Bandali Kuda Andoluata, Rodo Vede Gazos, Velika di Zalita, Iden de Kulapai, Ruda and Vandalai, Rodo Gabandeke, Legi Zalita Uda, let the stars rest on their rightful places. In the name of Jesus, Every star, Luda Afghan Grudai, Regedem Vetanta, wherever your journey from begin to come, oh God, let my star rest on its rightful place. Let the star of my children rest in the rightful place. Let the star of my household rest in the rightful place. Let the star of my spouse rest on the rightful place. Lagara tu Zefataka, Lika du Jefenanta Kradi, Palanindo Sundakelina, Bende Kradu Zevigai, Grida and Zelikatoza, Vadura te Idaka, Lude e Brege de Katoza, Bandaki Landuta, Inde Kenemanto, E Bande Kerai, Rodo Zevetai, E Dende Kilanto, Ruta Palina Kato, in the name of Jesus. Let your star rest where it's supposed to rest. In the name of Jesus. Let's quickly go to the book of First Kings. First Kings chapter 18. First Kings chapter 18 and verse 38. First Kings 18 and verse 38. First Kings 18, 38. It says, Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice and the wood and the stone and the dust and the wood and the stone and the dust and the wood and the stones and the dust and the wood and the stones and the dust and lick up the water that was in the trenches it was in a progressive level four levels the bible says and the fire of the lord fell it started from the topmost level the sacrifice it says and the fire of the lord fell and consumed the sacrifice number one The next thing next to the sacrifice were the woods. And the fire of the Lord consumed the woods. Number two. Number three, the next to the woods were stones. And the fire of the Lord consumed the stones. That's number three. Number four was dust. And in that dust below was the trenches that had the waters. So the fire of God progressively consumed from the sacrifice to the wood, to the stone, to the dust, and to the water. Agadu Barata. Today, this morning, every problem that is a sacrifice problem, Lord, let your fire consume it. Lord, every problem in my life that is a wood level problem, Gandu Rapagizali Kutai, let your fire consume it. Lord, every problem in my life that is a stone, stubborn problem, heart problem, Dedanzeka, Itaguva, Egradina, Kudama, Handekra, Dudegai, Zelekuba, Andagranua, Penikaporua, Kinekata, let your fire consume it. Every problem that is related to the marine spirit, water, Guda and Degredo Dazai, Rotagam. Voda Ileakai, Rodu Zevende Kapai, 
Balekina ingata rudu zigandu kradi belenkete andelete zude kepai let your fire consume it in my life paluta kapai rute ebedeka rute kapandeke jelekete ata let your fire consume it agili kutabai ruta kepaya every great experience likantukai ruta paya i speak to one i speak to all there is a man you consistently see yourself in the grave you consistently see yourself in the grave you consistently see yourself in the graveyard in the grave or in the graveyard that is the spirit of death kudabalata rekutapai riko sapata recently you joined a meeting and you thought it was a contribution meeting for something but it was not it was a plan set up for initiation into the cultic world it was a plan set up and you didn't know and one of your friends took you there recently lakuzaparata you said you had a couple of problems in your business and your friend said there is a network when you join you can have funds funds to help your business resources to help your business and you accompany that friend but since the day you accompany that friend there you started having nightmares you started having dreams of you seeing yourself in graveyards seeing yourself in coffins ladun shalaka radanga zaita edenzo kopa liko sheda liko pelego zopata today in the name of jesus Palako rapantika, whatever you didn't design for your life, whatever you didn't take your hand and knowingly get into, the mercy of God will pull you out. Let the fire of God visit that place. Let the fire of God leak up that place. Agadu kepai, we surround you with fire. Rekoto zapai, the Bible says, and the Lord shall be around thee as a wall of fire all around you, according to Zechariah chapter 2 and verse 5. Ide gebra tokai, he said, for thou have the walls. But I shall be around thee, a rotaka, a wall of fire around, around thee, and my glory shall be in thy midst, and my glory shall be in thy midst. Lekantos kavakata, the Bible says, Who shall abide in the day of his coming, and who shall stand when he appears? For he shall be like a fuller soap and a refiner's fire. Ingote kapai, ruta vanaka malakai chapter 2, ten zekepra and verse 3, paliko sofataka, liko pandeka, rute gato. Let the fire of God appear around you. Likota Shaba, Roto Vate Kaza. Anyone planning against you, Elekute Kapande, planning to initiate you into a marine court. In the Kapa Takusa, Rekuta Bekata. Anyone planning to initiate your children, Badun Zeke Agrandi Katoza, Vadigura Igadoza. Let the fire of God lick them up. Let the fire of God lick the sacrifice. Let the fire of God lick the fire. Let the fire of God lick the altar. Let the fire of God lick the altar. Let the fire of God lick the altar. Elenken to Gaban Ruda Ingruda M Vega Danguza Ruta Bande Kadu Zepa and Nikidima Andu Gruda Elikata Ruta Paradiga Zeleta every demonic altar speaking against you unknowingly Ligan Jacan Gradina Paragando Zafandeke Elikudam Paradakira Ruda embrege de anzutes pendeganda garina ingai ruda kabanda le kudapai ruda pelenge de gozai rodo vande keli kudampa erika dan zoto zakai liga donze breketa let the fire of God lick it up ikanda kapai let the fire of God lick it up endi galuta pai raku de panzota erike te kapai every young man initiated by a young lady into 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 so tieship into so tieship into so tieship this morning that so tieship is broken adan zakapra i say every young man initiated into courtism initiated into this demonic realm through so tieship so tieship i will never leave you i will never forsake you you took something like a blade you cut your fingers you touch each other my blood is your blood your blood is my blood or you spit on each other my blood is your blood 
today a gando kabai ruda bagando zagrade gabai legi dege zota let the fire of god lick it up in ghetto gabai we break the yoke we break the bond by the fire of god every soul tie ship you have entered unknowingly elikando kabai ruta vata gabai some of you are married even today i'm speaking to men and i'm speaking to women you are married even today but still in your dreams you are seen a a friend you are seen a, an old relationship that you entered a soul tie ship for unknowingly when you were younger and you think you are disconnected you are not disconnected you are still connected to that thing this morning kali kapai roto gavandozai rota pali katoza i break every soul tie ship iganda kapai liko soprata kai by the fire of god in gete kapaya ruta kaduza pai roka pali kata let the fire of god broke that relationship in the book of genesis quickly let's go to genesis 15 Genesis chapter 15 and verse 1. The Bible says after these things the word of the Lord came unto Abraham in a vision saying fear not Abram I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. And Abram said unto the Lord what will thou give me seeing I go childless and the steward in my house is this Eliza of Damascus. You see that? The Lord said unto Abraham fear not for I am thy shield and I am thy exceeding great reward I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward I am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward He said fear not I am your shield I am your exceeding great reward Let's look at Genesis 17 17 and verse 1 And when Abraham was 99 years old and 9 the Lord appeared to him and said unto him I am the almighty God walk before me and be thou perfect and I will make a covenant between me and thee and will multiply thee exceedingly and I will make a covenant between me and thee and i will multiply thee exceedingly oh god he says i am your shield i am your great reward i am your shield he say fear not i am your shield i am your great reward that's number one. number two, he says and i will make a covenant between me and thee between me and thee i will make a covenant between me and you this morning the only covenant that is permitted to be active in my life is the covenant of the lord amen that's the prayer oh god today ilaka baruda gavanda kai every covenant that is out of god around my life around my children around my family let it be broken every covenant that is not of god around my life around my system around my children around my family around my family that is not of god lekuda bandaka rute devateka let it catch fire agade gebrakuta ruta palena kurai rude beleke doza vendigilatuza igedu gepai rota ganiata adande kama uda igebrekete every other covenant that is not of god around my life around my family around my children ikete kapai let it catch fire o godo parade so de pelana grande kados legando shade ige grati kata ruta paninata let it catch fire every covenant that is not of god in my life in my marriage in my children in my family in my relationships kadu 
Rubaliaka, Lege de Kapandi, Adande Kuma Ilai, Ruda Parani Kadeza, Ropa Paleka, Ropa Paleka, Ropa Paleka, Ropa Paleka, let it catch fire, Agadu Palai, Rute Penai, Legangrote Dai, Zote Paradi, Egrete Kapai, Ruta Kabande, Agreti Kananto, let it catch fire, Igatu Banta, Ende Kebai, Ruta Panai, Reketai, Ruta Pai, Luga Brudaya, Reketabando, Igapandeka, Luda Perede, Agratuna Manta, Rute Kapai, Reketeka, every covenant that is not of God, I run my life. Let it catch fire today. 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 Begin to come and let it catch fire today. Every covenant that I entered, that my family entered, that my relatives entered, that my forefathers entered, that my parents entered, that is not of God for me. That is not of God for my children. That is not of God for my family. He can do goodbye. Let it catch fire. Let it catch fire today. Let it catch fire today. Let it catch fire today. Ende ketaka. Ruta abalita. Rute kepai. Rute kepande. Rute kapalika. Rute ketaka. Ropa kenata. Let the fire of God lick it up. 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 Ike Panamanta, Rute e Palikata, Jekete Apai, Rota Palikatunda, Rute Kepandeka, Rekete Kata, Ruta Panante, and Dekepandeka, Rakatu Zafanta. Every covenant. There was a young man. He never knew that there was a covenant entered by his parents. That none of them was to permit was permitted to travel abroad. And so when he was growing up, he discovered that his parents were wealthy. Even his uncles were wealthy. But none of them could travel. But none of them traveled. And so he proposed in his heart, as a young man, that in that cycle, he would broke that cycle. He would travel abroad. So the young man tried everything first to get visa. It was difficult. But eventually, he got the visa. And when he got the visa, he went to see his parents at home. And he told his parents, he said, Mom, Dad, I've gotten the visa to travel to UK. And the father looked at him. And the father said, do you think I can travel to UK? With all the resources I have, do you think it's difficult for me to travel out of this country? And the father said, you can't travel, my son. And the young man said, why, Dad? He said, you can't just travel, my son. He said, just forget about you. You have everything you need in this country. You can't travel. You have cars, you have houses. Enjoy them here. So the young man stubbornly decided to travel. He took everything, he placed everything in his box. While he was in the airport, they said it was time to board the plane. The young man was moving down the eye, down the eye to get into the plane, the craft. He slipped, he fell, he, he, he hit his head on the floor and he went unconscious. By the time they took him to the hospital, he died. There are powers fighting us that sometimes you don't know their sources. There are powers fighting you that sometimes you don't know their sources. Sometimes it's good to ask questions. Sometimes it's good to be observant. Some of you, that is one of your problems. Covenants that were entered. Some of you were born breached. Your parents discovered that you were breached babies. And because they wanted to successfully have you, they went and they did exchanges. Some of you, your parents discovered that it was very difficult to have male children. And they went to do sacrifices covenants to have even male children and you're that male child some of you are five girls one boy and sometimes you don't even ask questions those are certain signs some of you are five girls one boy 
Some of you are five boys, one girl. Sometimes ask those questions. Ask questions. This morning, the power of God will set you free. The fire of God will lick up all those ancient altars. Every ancient altar speaking against you. Vada Gurata Gabai. We give the Spirit of God permission. We give the Holy Ghost permission to go into your space, to go into your bloodline, to go into your lineage. Kadigaradu Gavanda. Begin to pray this morning. Holy Spirit of God, I give you permission. Go into my space. Go into my bloodline. Adanga Praka. Every place that I have been tied untie me every place my children have been tied untie them every place that my family has been tied untie us holy spirit we give you permission this morning every place we have been tied every place we have been tied Liga Ebrez, Padega Grude Ingadi Mahanda, Zundele Kabanda, Edan Kabarata Ginu Kuba, Lekuge Paradis, Pendekelika Agrani, Legungaria Ida Zueta. I permit you, Holy Ghost, go into my bloodline, go into my bloodline. Every place I've been tied, every place my children have been tied, Ikete Kapai, Lagura Ikabando, begin to untie us. Every place my wife has been tied. Every place my brothers have been tied. Agalama Urapiakai. Legura in the Kusa. Paraganjo Grediga Ante. Enleke Paradina. Ruta Evandekai. I give you permission this morning. Untie us, Holy Ghost. 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 We lose the bounds. We lose the gripper we lose the gripper he kept on die ruta avage reke pagai laga ruta ever and it shall come to pass on that day that the bodies will be lifted from your shoulders and the yokes from your neck and the yoke shall be destroyed by the anointing according to isaiah 10 27 and it shall come to pass on that day that the bodies will be lifted from your shoulders and the yokes from your neck and the yoke shall be destroyed by the anointing. He can do paradi. Roto kavakata. Ripapa elika. Reketakaya. Everybody in my life. Every yoke in my life. Elenge tubakai. Let it be broken. Let it be destroyed by the fire of God. By the fire of God. By the fire of God. Elika kubahanda. I bring my children. He can let the fire of God lick up those covenants and the Kelemakuda. Let the fire of God lick up that presence. A gratica pundaya, Rico Pale Kasha, a Rica Pale Kuda, a Liketa Manduka, Recuta Pandeka, Ruta Abakedai, Recapande Suda. He said, Thou shalt tread upon the lions and the Ada, thou shalt tread upon the young lion, and the dragon shall be under thy feet. Today trade over them. 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 Le kuba kandusha. Varusta mahang graninish. Vidi bili bakuzi bigas. Alamahura mahanda laisha. Kelubaru Gaval Zalakura Mahagova Gumahakai Talamahagra Gugara Igagaja. Today you are out. I see a young man. You have a son, he's two years going to his he's two years going to three years. And there's something wrong with his feet. It's like, it's like the two feet, the way I see them, they don't look normal. They don't actually look normal. It's like they are growing in a funny way. 
You just started noticing it. You just started noticing it. You just started noticing it. Your the, the legs are like they are not straight. There's like they are, have you seen a duck? Like a duck. Like a duck. Yeah, it's something like that. I, that's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm seeing. We reverse that situation. Agagradu Gamalu Gabradas. Zanda Gradina Kubal. I see a man with spine issues. It's like chlorosis. Vediga Gradosa. I command your spine to straight up. Viga do grada, I command your spine to straight up. E gadi galakara, let the fire of God move through your spines now. Vedo gradu gabaruda e vegenata. Let your spine straight up. Let your spine straight up. I see a young man, you are not old, but you are losing memory. You are losing memory. Your parents are worried. In fact, you are even, you are forgotten the name. You consistently forget the name of your parents even. You are still young, very young. I can see you between the age of 16, 18, 16, 18, 16, 18. It just started. You are losing memory. 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 Zuda agrada guvana pai. Rego zozona eligus. Gradu da rabia guzabali. Vedega grado gozoga nela ta. Adaguga gradigo gazia ta. Roto gabele kagruda. Let the fire of God run through your mind. Balaki du gapai. We command your mind to go back to stay. Kindu Kapai, we put your mind back to rest. Palaki Lukabai, Roto Gavanduka, Liketu Kapai, we restore your mind this morning. In the name of Jesus, you are losing memory, you are losing memory. In the name of Jesus, receive strength back in your mind. Oh, Labaraku Sana La De Sheleka, Dazala Kuraba Endegra, Ligo Zozo Dade Gabro, receive memory, receive memory back. Then Kadigabai. You started discovering that you were losing memory just recently. Just recently. Just recently. I see a woman. Vudagapai. There are certain things growing on around your abdomen like lumps. They are like lumps. Lumps. And you have kids. In fact, you have it's like you have two kids. And in the beginning, they look like just, you know, pregnancy results. But it's no longer pregnancy results. Those things are bulging out. They are like lumps growing, like, like, like growth, like things growing out of your body. Gadinga dagura handai. Vendi gridaguzi kaprandi gabai. Let the fire of God move in your bloodstreams now. Vida gas gagrana kaita. Liku dabai. I see a woman, you're swelling. You didn't, you're swelling. In fact, you are swelling. You don't know what's going on with you, but you're just swelling. You're swelling. It's not, it's not fat. You're just swelling. Gada gazurai. You can see the effect around your face now. It's like water. What do you feel? Even your body is swelling. You have a liver problem. Muda gadai. There is a liver problem. You have a liver problem. That's the thing. You haven't gone for any diagnosis, but that's the issue. That's what the Holy Ghost is saying. That you are developing some complications in your liver. Bende gazuda. Let the fire of God lick up that problem. Dagadura idaga granda kira. Paradina suda eratagavai. Bende grande kuzia. There is a man. In the name of Jesus, there is a man. You consistently see your wife want to kill you. In your dreams. You consistently see your wife wants to kill you. In your dreams. It's not your wife. It is someone taking the face of your wife. And they are portraying as your wife. And it's creating problem in your house. You are suspicious of your wife right now. You are suspecting your wife. It's not your wife. It is someone taking the face of your wife. And you have not discussed this thing with your wife because you are afraid. You are thinking that there is something she's doing around. You know, that wants to. It's not your wife. It is someone who is camouflaging taking the face of your wife and they are trying to you know create that instability in your house galaga graduda zunde gele kugamai parandi gidaga ruda vando zugrida adele 
Pendegre do Gozeni, Lique do Jita, Idanga Ratagamvotai, Eraka Dimikatuda, Riku Balata. I see something very funny. In the name of Jesus, that situation changes. Today, Adagabada, whoever will come in the night to present you like your wife, let them be exposed. Let the fire of God wash them up. Let the fire of God burn them up. Let the fire of God burn them up. Let them be exposed. You will know who that person is. It's not far from you. It's someone close to you trying to break your marriage. Zega, I see a man. You made a mistake some years back. And you went into a prostitute girl. And since then, you can't have erection as a man. And you never told your wife currently. And your wife is suffering that in your matrimonial home because you never told her that. You're a man. You're 40, 43 years old. 40, you are between 43. I see between 3 and 8. Holy Spirit, help me. But you are between 43 and 8. And you are suffering from that problem in erections. And it's because you went into a girl that you never knew. And since that situation happened, you have been having these complications. This morning, may the mercy of God find you. Let the mercy of God find you. Zagrada Gabura Dinakai, A Iakuda Ereke de Zude Agra de Ge Ete Gugabalea. Let the mercy of God find you in the I see a young man, you are 12 years, 12 years old, a child. You are mad. You have mental insanity. Your mother is crying. Whoever that woman is. Oh ye balagasha. Vende geloto. Adini kubai. Adig Ignatius. Ignatius. The boy's name is I G N something Ignatius, Ignatius, Ignatius. Vada Grada Guza is a young boy. Liko Zeba Liko Jeta. E Grado Gabo Rudakai. Liko ta let the fire of God visit those adversaries. Whoever shot that arrow in your boy's mind. Bali go gradakai. Let that arrow go back to them now. Iga gratu gabale kuda. Reku de palikasha. Iketeka. Rute palash. Erakadimikatoza. In the name of Jesus. Let look quickly. Isaiah. Isaiah. 49. We are going to round up soon. Isaiah 49. That scripture just came in my mind. I don't know why. Let's start from 24. It says, Shall the prey be taken from the mighty and the lawful captive be delivered? He said, But say it the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. He says, I will contend with those who contend with thee, and I will save thy children. This is the scripture I'm giving you today. As you go out through this week, as you go out through this weekend, I want you to begin to declare this scripture over your children. And I will save thy children. I will contend with those who contend against you. And I will save your children. I will contend with those who contend against you. And I will save your children. I will contend with those who contend against you. And I will save your children. Oh Lord, contend against those who contend against me and save my children. For every woman who is expecting a baby, oh God, save my children. Because you have children. No man was designed barren. Have you ever seen a barren goat? Have you ever seen a barren dog? Have you ever seen a barren calf? It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. If animals are not barren, as humans created in the image of God, the Bible says, be fruitful. The Bible says, and God created them, he, male and female, and said unto them, be fruitful, multiply, subdue the earth, be fruitful. It was a command for fruitfulness. Your body cannot do otherwise. Your body is to obey that fruitfulness. If your body is not fruitful, there is something going on. Someone is holding your children somewhere. But the Bible says in scripture, according to Isaiah 49, 25, it says, I will contend with those who contend against you. And I will save your children. 
I will contend with those who contend against you. And I will save your children. None of your children will be lunatic. None of your children will be barren. None of your children will be insane. None of your children will be born with any limitation. That is the word of God. I stand in the word of God. Everything fighting my children. Lord, contend with them. Lord, contend with those who contend against my children. We speak against every cancer in children. Every cancer of the brain, every cancer of the throat, every cancer of the intestines. We release the fire of God upon children today all across the world. Let the fire of God lick up those diseases in their bodies. The goddos keba ruta adanga pai rekude evegena ruda paradigazai. My children will be exempted from every plague, from every calamity, from every disease. Elike namunda zude agradosa. I see a couple of children dying from misus, misus. Ladan zakrandeka. We reverse that situation around. Bende kerena agira ruda adanzo da pera. Baragonze grande gapa ruda embedika soza rude embendiki agagrude apai liko shadakai in the name of Jesus your children are free zada kapai in the name of Jesus your children are free kaliko paradi in the name of Jesus your children are free in the name of Jesus amen you are running out of time Amen. This weekend, in the name of Jesus, you will hear good news. I say this weekend, in the name of Jesus, you will hear good news. This weekend, in the name of Jesus, I say you will hear good news. Wherever you are, Kalamu Ruda Kabangala Kudasha. Begin to type Amen below. Vuda Gaza. I say this weekend, in the name of Jesus, you will hear good news. I will hear good news. I will hear good news. I will hear only good news. This weekend, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Vego Grado Gozogobos, Adogoboro Dogovodogobodos. Laga grodo baraga dozo vogobodos in the name of Jesus nanga granda gagangra nuna inda green guvanga yata you will hear only good news in the name of Jesus oh precious Jesus we love you manto rabaku vanda kela shandi thank you Holy Ghost thank you Jesus if you have not made Jesus your Lord and peace and Savior I urge you this morning by the grace of God make this prayer after me Lord Jesus come into my life be my lord be my savior forgive me of my sins knowingly unknowingly cleanse me lord transform me lord purge me lord wash me make me anew i open the doors of my life come into my life be my lord from today in jesus mighty name amen you are now born again child of god look for a believing church and begin to attend services wherever you find yourself Look for a believing church and begin to attend services. God richly bless you. As our custom will be, we are going to declare Psalms 23. Psalms 23 is our scripture for the year. Psalms 23, it says, The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing in this life. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. 
He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anoints my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please don't forget to order the kids' books wherever you are. If you have an opportunity, go grab some copies for your family, for your loved ones. God bless you richly. Don't forget, as you go out through this weekend, don't forget to read the book of Isaiah 49:25. It says, I will contend with those who contend against you, and I will save your children. I will contend with those who contend against you, and I will save your children. I will contend with those who contend against you and I will save your children. Don't forget to pray that prayer all through this weekend and see how the life of your children get transformed. In Jesus' name, amen. Favor on my head, increase in my hands, speed on my feet, healing in my body. One more time, favor on my head, increase in my hands, speed on my feet, healing in my body. One more time, favor on my head, increase in my hands, speed on my feet, healing in my body. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Child of God, don't forget to join us. If you are not subscribed to our YouTube page, please share, share, go to our YouTube page and subscribe and then share the videos. We have almost a hundred and something prayer sessions. Every topic you can potentially think about, that is an archive of prayer for you. An archive of prayers. And I give them with scriptures. I give them with scriptures. So go in there. There's rich content. Grab it. Share it with your friends. Share it on your YouTube pages. Share it on your social media platform. I give you permission. Download the video. Share it anywhere. It's the gospel. We can't limit it. It should go to the ends of the world. Share it everywhere. I give you permission. Go there. Download it if you can. Share it on your profile. Share it on your YouTube. Share it anywhere. We have to break things. There are a lot of people struggling. Going through hard times. Going through difficult times. And the only thing that can take them out is prayers. I told you what prayer cannot do. Much prayer will do. What prayer cannot do. Much prayer will do. I will see you on this altar on Monday again, 6 a.m. Central Standard Time, 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and noon African Time and European Time. God bless you. Have a blessed weekend. Bye-bye.